Yeah, we take that camera off him. Huh? Yeah, you point that camera someplace else. Well, you're, you're the one that got my attention. Point the camera someplace else. Huh? Please. I can point the camera anywhere I want. All right. All right. Nasty Nathaniel out here in Baywood Park, California. And joining me is the sheriff. And together, we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Baywood Inn. Yeah. We're going to make sure that our friends at this local Baywood Park Hotel respect and honor our constitutionally protected right to record what we can see from a public space. And hopefully, Denver Metro Audits will approve of this audit. Here we go. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is the Baywood Inn here in beautiful Baywood Park or Los Osos, depending on who you talk to. Uh, I know most people would probably consider this Los Osos, and technically it is, but also it's known as Baywood Park. Or I've actually heard it advertised as Los Osos Baywood Park, but we're going to be old school and call it Baywood Park. And this is the Baywood Inn. It's a... Um, it's funny, um, I see it as a hotel, uh, and it basically is a hotel, but it's actually listed on Yelp as a bed and breakfast. And um, it was built in 1990, and according to what I read, they did a renovation in 1996, which isn't that much longer after it was built, which is kind of strange. Uh, normally, you know, they wait at least 20 years or so before they do a renovation, but... As far as I know, it's the only hotel in the Los Osos Valley. Uh, the closest um, other hotels would be like in the city of San Luis Obispo, where they have like a Hampton Inn and a Courtyard by Marriott and an assortment of others. And tons of hotels in Morro Bay. Yeah, we can't forget Morro Bay. I'm sure everybody uh, in the First Amendment auditing community hasn't forgotten Morro Bay. <laughs> Haven't you? <laughs> But um, something I get asked um, sometimes is why audit a private business such as a hotel or a car dealership or a, a church. Well, I know a church, well, a lot of people don't consider a church a business. I consider it a business, even though they don't pay taxes. But we're not going to get into that right now. But people ask me, like, why audit a, a place like a hotel, you know? And my response is always the same. I'm here to educate people about the right to practice photography in a public space. Like we're on a public sidewalk, we're not on their property. We are exercising our constitutionally protected right to film what we can see in a public space. And uh, you know, I want to make the, uh, the public more informed about, about this, these rights. Because when you think about it, folks, I mean, cameras are a part of everyday life. I mean, I'm sure most people realize that, but, you know, I mean, in most places, in most cities, I mean, you got cameras on public poles and, you know, most people have cameras, you know, on their homes and, and businesses. So cameras are a part of everyday life. I mean, anybody that has a, has a smartphone now has a video camera. Of course, that wasn't the case, uh, you know, 30 years ago, but it's definitely the case now. So there's no reason why people should freak out when they see someone filming in public like we are right now. Once again, I want to point out we're on a public sidewalk. We're not on their property. So uh, hopefully uh, we, ch we can educate the public. And uh, if we encounter any Karens, we can uh, educate them as well. That or we'll just whip out the paddle. <laughs> Ah, on we got Mr. Happy coming out. Oh, he's on his phone. Maybe he's calling someone. Well, that's typically what people do when they talk on a cell phone. They call someone. Or, I don't know, maybe he's just trying to show us uh, he's important. But, uh, there he comes. He's... How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you guys? Oh, we're, we're, we're groovy. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Morning to you. You guys need any help, or...? No, we're just doing a story about the hotel. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I got a thing. I got like a fetish for hotels, so oh, I just okay. want to film the hotel. Cool. Are you work here? Or? Yes, I do. Oh, well, I guess your shirt kind of gives it away. Right. Yeah. No, that's it. We just want to film the hotel oh, for a little bit. And, okay. All right. Cool. That's about it. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay, groovy. Have all a good right. day. Take care. You too. Hmm. 
Well, that was peaceful. Uh, I still have a feeling that maybe he's a little perturbed by it. I don't know. Maybe he's going to call someone else. Maybe he's going to call the. Maybe he's going to call the police. I don't know. Maybe he's going to call Canadian Rights Media. Maybe he's going to call him up in Calgary and get the 411 about old nasty Nathaniel. But I don't know. I, I don't think CRM would rat me out. Ah, oh, looks like we got somebody here coming onto the property. Maybe that's hotel security. Maybe that's the muscle. Maybe they're going to come over here and deal with us, or... I don't know, maybe it's a Scientologist. I guess we can ask him. It looks like he's coming our way. Hi! How's it going? How's it going? Good. Just, uh, got word that you were filming my employees. Oh, just filming the hotel. Yeah, I kind of got a thing for hotels. Gotcha. You yeah. mind uh, not filming us? Well, why not? Or just want to film the hotel. I mean... You're not filming the hotel, you're filming me. Well, yeah, well, you, you just well, approached me, that's why. Yeah. No, I just want to do a thing about the hotel. It's a nice, it looks like it's a nice hotel. And yeah, it is a nice hotel. Yeah. Yeah, do you mind not filming me? You don't have my consent. Well, I, I document everything I, I see in public, you know, just because we're having an interaction, just for the objective record. I just want to document, you know, so nothing. Yeah, but you don't have no. permission to film the employees. Are well, actually, I, uh, no disrespect, sir, I actually don't need permission. We're in a public place, so, um, you know. Where can I find the story? Huh? Where can I find the story? Oh, you can check out the California Citizens Watch. California Citizens Watch? Yeah, California Citizens Watch. Interesting. Yeah. All right. No, that's not, no, no ill intent. Or, do you, what happened? Do you know Parker Osman? I don't, know. Oh, okay. I think he used to work here, maybe. But no, that, that's it. I just want to showcase this hotel. Yeah, you know, showcase. You're making the employees feel pretty uncomfortable. Okay, well, I mean, I'll try not to make them feel uncomfortable. That's not my intent. I but. the only way to yeah, well, when we're done, I mean, I'm not going to be here all day or anything, but I'll wrap it up, and then I'll probably skedaddle at some point. All right. Maybe have a drink at the Merrymaker. You know. <laughs> all right. Well, say, it's not really cool to film people and make them feel uncomfortable. Well, I mean, I, I can't control people's film. I, like I said, I'm, I'm just filming the, in public. and You could control it by not filming them, but... Well, I mean, you know, sir, it's just a camera. It's not going to hurt anybody. I mean, I'm just, you know... Do you like it when people film you? I get filmed against my will every day. I mean, you walk down the street, there's cameras on light poles and traffic signals and stuff. So, I mean, I mean, the, the, the city films people every day. I mean, you go to Disneyland, I mean, there's cameras everywhere. And, I mean, I know this isn't Disneyland, but, okay. you know. All right, well, not a great way to start off, you know, our relationship here. It's not a good way to meet somebody. Yeah. All right. All right. Have Are a good one. Are you the owner of this business? The general manager. Okay, oh, okay. cool. Awesome. Have a good one. I lost interest when he wasn't the owner. Well, he said uh, it's not a great way to start off our relationship. We've well, got a relationship with him now. Well, I didn't know that we were dating. I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe I've chatted with him on Grinder before. I don't know. I mean, he's not really my type. I mean, anybody who watches my videos that, uh, by this point should know what my type is. He's not my type either. I don't think he's anybody's type with that attitude. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Mr. Happy is uh, on the phone. I have a feeling he's probably calling the uh, local authorities. Or I don't know, maybe he's calling Denver Metro Audits. Maybe Denver Metro Audits is going to educate him, give him the 411, and let him know that what I'm doing is perfectly legal. I mean, Denver Metro Audits is a highly educated man. This guy here definitely isn't too educated about uh, the right to practice public filming. Well, if the police do come, hopefully they'll educate him. I mean, I, I'm really not in the mood to spank anyone today. <laughs> Alright, see if he's going to walk over here. and And that way, like, oh, maybe they're sending the fire department as well. Uh, he's got backup. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you guys doing? We're doing fine. Wonderful, thank you. What's going on? Oh, just filming the hotel. Okay. Yeah. Yes. They call you, I'm they assuming? Call okay. Me. Do you know where they are? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm assuming that he's probably in the office or something. Okay. I mean, I explained to him what we were doing and that he, okay. 
he just seemed he kind of had an attitude All about right. it so I'll go talk to him. okay cool thank you yeah. hopefully he's gonna be professional and sounds like he knows exactly what's going on Well, hopefully he'll educate him. So that they brought, oh, they did. So they called the fire department for backup. That guy's with the fire department. So not only did they bring the sheriffs here, they brought the, uh, like he's from Cal Fire, but he's got police on the back of his thing. That's weird. Like, what is he, like an arson investigator or something? So here they come. So far, this, this deputy is being pretty professional. He's not stepping over the line. My, my experience has been that with the Slow County Sheriff's Department, they're pretty decent. Um, all right. All right, you guys are good. I just explained to them that you are on public property and you have the right to film. Okay, so they just asked thank you, to deputy. You to not go on their property. Yeah, we had no plans yeah. of going on their yeah, property. I, I mean, I told them that, so. yeah. You guys good? Thanks for being professional. I appreciate it. Yeah. Do you need anything from us? No, no, I don't. Actually, I do just have a question. I, I know you're from Cal Fire, but you have police on the... I was just curious what that... Is. So we're full state peace officers. Okay. Yeah, Cal Fire uh, sends their employees on the law enforcement side through a full post, so we're qualified state peace officers. Oh, okay. No, I was just curious because I saw Cal Fire and then I saw police on the... I, like, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and you're very handsome, sir. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you guys for being right, professional. I appreciate it. Hey, you guys have a good day. Be safe. All right, you too. Take care. Thank you. See, that's what I want to see, folks. I want to see our law enforcement, especially our local law enforcement, doing the right thing. And these guys definitely did the right thing. So, definitely an A plus pass for uh, Slow PD and uh, Cal Fire. Not Slow PD. Or uh, Slow Sheriffs, yeah. God, I'm losing it. <laughs> Too many margaritas, folks. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. The sheriff and I, we've been here for a bit. And if you stuck around throughout the entire thing, you saw what happened. Uh, hotel management definitely wasn't happy about it. And they uh, called the uh, the slow PD, or excuse me, the slow sheriffs. Like I said, too many margaritas. Ah! Uh, and Cal Fire. It's the first time I've ever had a uh, fire respond uh, to an audit, or at least an audit like this. Anyways, uh, Nasty Nathaniel and the Sheriff signing off. Uh, you guys be the judge. What do you guys think?